Hey YouTube, I have a fun video today. Today I'm going to move from the analog device here, this light tracer light box that I have used in the past, not very often, but whenever you have a complex drawing and you don't want to go through the pains of erasing holes in your paper, there's no shame in tracing. However, there is a digital way now, and I found this one here called Camera Lucida. And I have a feeling this may just replace this light pad. So I've got my paper ready. I have Camera Lucida. I'm going to set up the iPad so that I can give it a shot and see what Camera Lucida can do for tracing in watercolor. Come along with me. Here we go. <music> like me you only have one tripod and that's going to be for this camera I'm holding now which is my iPhone and then the iPad here is sitting amongst books and boxes and stuff and it's a certain height above my paper which has to be exact let me show you what I mean here's what you see as you look overhead and as I put my hand under there you can see that my hand appears so as I trace the pencil on here it it will not be seen unless you make this more transparent and you want to see it. So as I touch the screen, I can set the transparent like that. Now if I put my hand down there, you can't see it at all because the picture, the image is no longer transparent. So depending on what you want it to be, a lot or a little, you can adjust it, which is very nice. Here's another thing, my iPad, I have a, a book holding my iPad, which really helps in this situation because I can put a book on top of this part of the cover and on this, as you see, because it has to overhang, it has to have something supporting it. And as far as height is concerned, depending on how high and low you move your iPad, you want to get your, your entire paper frame in there, up, down, right, and left. All these things need to be fine-tuned with the amount of books that you have. If you have a tripod, you don't have to worry. Okay, so I'm all set up and ready to draw. Just so that you understand, I'm going to use this camera here to show some shots from the outside. And then this thing also records. So as I do my artwork, it will also be recording my strokes. I'll show you what both views look like in this video. Once I've got the sketch done, and then I'll do some shading and then I'll be watercolor and we'll see how this turns out and how hard it is in comparison to tracing on a actual light pad. Okay, here's my stash of pencils. For this kind of tracing, I really don't know what to use, but I always seem to fall back on these two, drawing and drawing. This 314 here I've had for a very long time. It's as hard as an H lead, but it's as soft as a 2B or a 3B. I think I'm going to go with this one. Just give it a little bit of a sharpening up, and then I'll be all set. Just for the sake of how long this takes.
Okay, there is my finished tracing time. Let's see what I got. All right, I got the basis of the tracing down and the amount of time shown. I think it was a little over an hour. So I did have to to, to uh, change this uh, opacity quite a bit in order to see things and to see my pencil. But I got enough of the shapes down. So it's time to move on to shading and watercolor. Okay, hey folks, I'm going to stop right there. It was my goal to see that Camera Lucida is a viable tool for actually tracing. I think that this turned out okay. I think that my uh, painting skills are a bit rusty, and uh, I tried to make this railing look like the original where it actually has some glow. Uh, I think that the reflection of light off of black is very deceptive. It's actually not white, it's actually a reflection, but with such a tiny piece, as you back up, it looks a little bit better. So I think that I would say that Camera Lucida, if you do not have a light pad, it's a good tool. If you have a light pad, I think you can do better. But that's really iffy because I chose a very complex piece, so. But I'm happy with it. I might put this on the wall. Let's see how it looks in the frame. So, oh, there it is, the finished product. Now I know that somebody, be, <clears throat> I know that some of you might ask, what did I use? This is a Lamy, Lamy, L-A-M-Y, uh, medium point. I'm pretty happy with this pen. I love the way that it works. And I use this uh, Noodlers, Noodle, Noodlers Ink. This is a good uh, one for ink and wash because it is bulletproof, stable. I have, uh, I have this that I hardly ever use anymore. This is the Black India ink. It's waterproof as well. And then I have some actual Waterman from Paris. And uh, it's intense black. It's good for after you've painted. I also have a Pilot, which is a, uh, a extra fine nib. This is really good for these really thin railing pieces in the distance to make them stand out with their color black and I also have a Pentel uh, brush which I have the bulletproof ink in 
and uh, pencils and pens. Now these white ink pens, these things will dry up on you. <laughs> Go through more of these without ever using them. And uh, I do have an electric eraser. I have uh, three, four, five, six of these water brushes, which are really amazing. I've come to where I use them almost exclusively now because I'm not using them for anything bigger than this, so they work really well. Well, right next to my last video is going my Camera Lucida shot of a New York scene. I think that Camera Lucida works real well. You just got to get used to not knowing when your pen is touching paper. It's really hard to do because you're not actually touching it and seeing it. Whereas if you're using a light box, you would have a better accuracy than the Camera Lucida. Well, I hope that this trial of Camera Lucida and tracing has helped you, or it was entertaining, or both. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day.